Hello everyone! It is time for the Shadow Infiltrators banner, and with this banner we also have a new main story chapter, chapter 14. I hope you're all super excited for it. Um, I Before we get into the video, I will apologize first for missing the update on the last banner. I didn't make a video for that one because I was quite busy at the time. I just did not have time to get it out. Um, a lot of things happened. And it just wasn't a super exciting banner anyways. I'll try not to miss them in the future, but yeah, that's... I'm not going to go into de any details, I just I just not have the time. But anyways, with this banner and this update, Chapter 14, we are finally past the long drought of kind of like mediocre banners, mediocre updates that the game has had for quite a while, kind of known as like the dead period on JP. We knew this was coming to global, but this update marks the end of it. This will be chapter 14, the banner's pretty decent, and then next we have the summer event, which everyone I'm sure is very hyped for with these swimsuit units, and after that is all of the first year, the one year anniversary events, so it's like two months straight of main story updates or something. Anyways, it's all very cool, very great, um, so yeah, look forward to the future of the game from here, it definitely start is on the uptick from this point forward, so that's very cool. Anyways. Onto the banner. Um, let's just go ahead and go over the units real quick. So we do have Wilbell and Roman. Wilbell is a bolt supporter. Roman is an ice breaker. I do recommend that if you, um, you know, pull on this banner, that you do uh, focus Wilbell. She is the better of the two units, in my opinion. But if you want Roman, he's not a bad unit either. Of course, I'll go over both of them for you. I will be focusing Wilbell. So yeah. Um, I think tickets are fine on this banner. I will be buying tickets personally. I didn't buy tickets for the last one. Marion and Eska just not really that good, but Wilbell is quite strong and Roman is very decent. Um, so yeah, let's just go ahead and look at all the units. First up, we have the Memoria. The Memoria is just a, an Ice Breaker Memoria, so 6% speed, you know, Ice Stun damage. Not very good. Breaker Memoria are never really worth investing in. Obviously, breakers just aren't very strong in the current meta in Breaker Memoria. Like, yeah, not really worth worrying about. If you get it, it's probably not very good. So, eh. But, yeah, it is. Memoria sucks. Okay, on to Roman. Roman is decent. So, Roman is an icebreaker. He is our second icebreaker ever after Leela from forever ago. Um, if you don't have an icebreaker, he's a pretty solid pickup. Very useful in like tower and stuff. However, I will say, um, in regards to the tower, we will be getting the Floor 30 Affinity Tower update sometime this week on Global, so that will be Floor 30 for all of the towers, including Ice, and up to Floor 30 is clearable without a breaker. I have cleared Floor 30 of the Ice Tower without having a single Ice Breaker on my JP account, so if you want specifically like Roman for Tower or something, he will make it easier, but don't worry, he's not required especially if you get the better ice units coming up in the future, like Saskia and Aisha. So, you know, don't pull him for like tower or anything. Um, he's not like, he's not mandatory for that, right? But yeah, he is an icebreaker. He is an AOE breaker. So before attacking, he will reduce the target's ice, res ice resistance by 25% for two attacks and this will hit all enemies. Um, because he's an AOE breaker, he's probably not going to do a good job at actually stunning things nowadays, but the Ice Resistance debuff is very solid if your main attacker is someone like Christmas Resna, right? If you generally use Christmas Resna for clearing content, Roman giving that Ice Resistance debuff to all the enemies is very nice, especially because next month during the summer event, we will be getting a trait that scales Ice Resistance debuffs. So you can gear them up with that trait once we get it, and this will be giving like, you know, 50% Ice, ice Resistance down instead of 25%. It ends up being pretty strong. Um, now, I will say that he's not particularly good for the upcoming uh, ice attacker Ryza, the swimsuit Ryza, because she wants a very specific sort of team for her full potential and Roman doesn't fit into it, but if you're using, you know, a burst, an ice burst attacker like Christmas Rosna, he's pretty decent uh, just for that. And then, of course, we also have panel immunity on this ability as well. This is kind of nice occasionally if it nullifies, randomly nullifies a blue panel, but I wouldn't really rely on it too much. Uh, and then we have his burst, which is just a stronger version of his skill 2, except it's single target. Uh, but that's actually a good thing, so 
reduces target's ice resistance by 30% and boosts the target's magic attack damage received by 30%. So this is a really, really strong breaker burst because it's double damage debuffs onto a single target. And because it is single target, it can actually send things. Um, nowadays, even, area, even bursts from area breakers have a really hard time sending enemies. So they're kind of whatever, but because this is a single target breaker burst, you can actually stun, stun things with it. So it's pretty good. It gives a lot of damage. Um, it's a really, really solid burst. Usually you only really need debuffs on like the one tanky enemy in the fight anyways. So like, yeah, it's pretty good. Along with that, we have a passive where when the attack target is stunned, they get even more magic damage received. So very good. You can run, you know, uh, magic resist down trait on him. Just be aware that the magic resist down trait is only really useful when he uses his burst because his skill two does not have that debuff on it. So it just kind of depends. Um, most of the time you don't really need it. And his other passive is when he gets a panel that's not like a red panel, he gets increased stun damage. This is kind of whatever. You're usually not stunning with him anyways. On top of that, his skill one is also just increasing his own stun damage. So kind of whatever. But he's decent, he's decent as a debuffer. Especially for like ice teams, right? So not a terrible unit, but not a great unit either. Uh, the other thing to talk about is his leader skill, which is pretty generic. It's 25% magic attack for ice characters. So for characters like uh, Christmas Resna, who don't really have good leader skills for themselves, you know, you put him in the team, his leader skill is pretty decent, it gives you a lot of damage, so it's nice that it's like generic for ice characters if you don't have another good ice leader skill, so really solid there. His synthesis gift is also magic break, magic stun damage. Um, on some interesting colors, I don't remember if these colors are particularly useful, but they're interesting, so that's always cool. But yeah, overall, Pretty mid-tier character, but still very, very serviceable. Uh, next up, we have Will Bell. Will Bell is a Bolt supporter, and she is our second, like, really good crit supporter. So, first up, we had Winter Rorona slash Rorona, who gives, you know, 100% crit rate to an ally with her skill 2. Will Bell does a very similar thing. Um, she gives crit panels to your entire team. So... This will fill a similar role as Rorona in that she can give your attacker a guaranteed crit when she uses her skill too, which is really, really powerful. If you don't have Rorona, you definitely want Wilbel. If you do have Rorona and you mostly use Izana, you probably want Wilbel, although she's not as important. Um, now, there are a few little, you know, pros and cons to this ability. So first up, Wilbel is area recovery. She will he heal everyone with her skill too. Um, and she actually has recover, re recovery percent, so unlike Slash Verona, she does heal, which is really, really, really nice. Um, Slash Verona doesn't really heal, Lil Bell does, very, very, very solid. Um, however, creating crit panels is kind of weird. Uh, she creates a crit panel on every single ally up until, you know, Lil Bell's next turn, right? Um, she will overwrite all other panels, so she doesn't play nice with other supporters that create panels, like the upcoming Saskia or Academy Sophie. Um, obviously, if there's a blue panel that she overwrites, you're going to lose damage, um, unless, like, if you're using items and you can't get the blue panel anymore. But at the same time, it also means you generally don't have to worry about hitting red panels, right? Uh, so, because she'll overwrite those as well. She will not overwrite burst panels, so you're good there. Um, but yeah, very strong ability. If you use items or stun enemies or use skill ones or something, there are so many crit panels on the timeline that you can occasionally push them on to enemies if you change the timeline at all, and that can be a little bit annoying. Sometimes it doesn't really matter too much. Sometimes it'll kill you. Um, she's still a very, very good character but she can be a little bit annoying to play around with when you're not, you know, one-shotting the field on your attacker's turn. Hopefully you're doing that. If you're not, then sometimes the crit panels can be annoying, but she's still very good. On top of giving the crit panels, which are guaranteed crits, she gives a lot of damage to her passives, especially for bolt characters, most notably Izana. Um, her 
second passive is 30% skill damage for all allies with the bolt affinity. This is the same as Liddy's passive, and of course this scales with damage buffet, so this is 70%, like 75% damage for bolt characters. Very, very, very powerful. Um, and then her other passive is up to 30% critical damage for all allies. However, she doesn't have this at the start of the battle. She will get this whenever she gets her first panel of the battle. And because this also scales with damage buffet, she only needs to get a panel once. So Wilbur picks up a panel and it's just a 30% crit damage boost for your party. Also very strong. Her skill 1 is quite good, where she will give the ally with the highest magic attack a 25% critical damage boost when she uses it. So very, very strong skill 1. Um, if you're ever rearranging the timeline, this will be a huge bonus. And then her burst is kind of whatever. Um, her burst uh, targets one enemy and gives them a bolt resistance reduction for five attacks. Usually this is kind of overkill and it's probably in a lot of cases if you're using her for crit weaker than the crit panel from her skill two because you won't have another way to crit on your team, right? Um, so usually the burst is kind of a waste. It's going to be giving less damage than the crit panel, but it's also okay defensively where it reduces all allies damage received by 30% on the next attack they take. So it's an okay burst, but it's not particularly good. Um, usually you'll probably just use skill two over the burst. Um, and then her passive, uh, boosts all justice and exploration characters critical damage by 35% and they restore own HP by 5% when hit by an attack. So this probably doesn't sound super good, especially because it is in this group, which is Yuna, Roman, Knight Logi, and then Aisha. Um, kind of a weird group. However, when we get def um, well, even with the current Defender Aisha, but also when we get the future Defender Aisha, which is really strong, this is a very, very, very strong leader skill for Defenders, and it does apply to both both Aisha's, um, the current one and the upcoming one. This uh, when hit recovery is just incredibly strong for keeping Defenders alive and stacking on their own recovery. Um, just makes them even more potent as defenders. It's not going to be giving damage to your team, but it will be keeping your defender Aisha's alive easier. So if you do use a defender Aisha in your team, it is a very strong leader skill choice. Um, outside of specifically Aisha, I would say it's not too strong, so you probably won't really be using it. Um, but if you are using one of the Aisha's on your team, then it can be pretty good. Uh, one of the Aisha's meaning Bolt and Ice, upcoming Ice, not the healer Aisha that's not even in this group. So healer Aisha being one of the worst units in the game. But yeah, overall, Wilbel is a very strong supporter, especially if you don't already have Slash Ver Verona. I highly recommend her. If you do already have Slash Verona, you don't necessarily need to pull for her. She will be stronger on an Izana team with some downsides. And for every other team, Slash Verona will probably be better because most of Wilbel's uh, damage boost is for specifically Bolt, so Snow Verona usually gives a higher damage boost to characters that aren't Izana um, or Bolt attackers, so. But very, very strong. Her gift as well is another L recovery boost gift, which is very useful, although her colors are a little bit less useful than most others. She doesn't get used too much, but if she gets good links in the future, she will be good for synthesis. And yeah, that's about it for Wilbel really 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 good supporter if you don't already have a crit supporter now i'm not going to talk about recipes too long um there's one recipe that is notable from this chapter that i remember at least and that is the spirit belt the accessory made for will bell it is for bolt supporters and it makes them give all allies 70 percent seven percent critical damage with scales with buffet it has good speed this is the new best in slot accessory for basically every bolt supporter in most situations. So it's good on Wilbel, it's good on Ons and Claudia, it's good on Liddy. I highly recommend getting the recipe and making them for those characters. So keep that in mind and let's get to the polls. I have quite a few tickets today. Um, I have tickets for the previous banner that I, you know, the free ones that I didn't use. Um, I'll probably focus Marion. I would honestly be fine with either of the characters here. Um, yeah, let's do these tickets and then we have tickets for Wibbel as well. Alright, any winks? Oh no, it's so doomed.
But yeah, lots of tickets today. Should be pretty fun. Hopefully you get at least something. Even if it's not a pickup, like some character that I'm missing. Oh! Okay. We got some sparkles pretty late. That should be uh, at least some sort of three star. Not a pickup, but some sort of three star. Hopefully a new one. There's a lot of things I could get, especially most of Academy I think is in now, I believe. Oh? That's Mari, right? Can't say I care too much about base Mari. I think we've uh, received quite a few of her in the past, so... Alright, next up. Oh, we got one wink. It'll probably be a worse pull than the last one, in all honesty. Yeah, this is kind of looking like just a bunch of SRs. But you never know. There could be some random memoria in here. Definitely, definitely nothing. Yep, definitely nothing. Alright, that's fine. On to the real banner. I didn't really care too much about that one. But, I would very much like to get Lobel here. She is absolutely fantastic to use, and I don't have Slash Verona on this account, so... Having Lobel would be... Just a huge upgrade. <laughs> For my teams, um, she would go in right away. It would be very nice to have her. But we'll see. Now, I kind of want to talk a little bit, maybe I'll do it after the polls. I do want to talk a little bit about sort of like, um, what you should be saving your gems for because I know that the summer banner is coming and a lot of people are probably like you know wondering what's the best spot to actually put their gems into maybe I'll make a video about that I do have an upcoming banner video that you should probably check out if you're lost on that oh phrase okay um I do have a video about the upcoming banner so that includes summer and stuff but I should probably do another one that just goes over like summer and this banner and everything. I think um, when it comes to all of the upcoming banners from now, for a little while from now, this is going to be one of the weakest ones. Lobel is very nice, but you know she's not as strong or as used as a lot of like the Awakened Resna team or the Memoria from the summer banners. Um, there's a lot of stuff there. She is still, of course, very, very good. Uh, personally, I am saving most of my gems for the Summer Memoria, um, and then going to put together the Awakened Resna team, which I also have a video on. Um, and it's kind of boring saving gems specifically for Memoria, but I do recommend it because it is like that powerful. Anyways, this is just a little <laughs> bit of rambling while we're getting all these bad pulls out of the way. Uh, one last set of tickets. This one probably will not be any better. We did get two three stars so far, but they were both dupes from the base pool. Nothing like super interesting. And looks like probably more nothing. Yeah, definitely more nothing. Well, that is fine. We have another set of tickets coming in a few days from the login bonuses, but the first 30 were basically nothing. It is what it is. You kind of expect that. All right. 
Anyways, I hope you all enjoy the update. I hope this video was helpful. I wish you all luck on your polls, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.